Hello and welcome to the Comic Conspiracy episode 129 for the week of October 21st, 2013. My name is Ryan Higgins. Who's here this week? Brock Sager. Omar. Bryce. Machete. Oh. And Charlie. Machete's in the house. Look out. You'll see pictures <laughs> of this online probably. I'm a Mexican. That's probably Toby. <laughs> you can probably barely I'm hear him. Mexican. You need to speak a lot louder. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a Mexican. Okay. Not a Mexican. All right, there we go. We Great. just lost like half of our Latino listeners. <laughs> so Machete, how's it going? It's going good. Excellent, excellent. How's your How's your terrible movie doing? It's going great. Oh, nice. Nice, <laughs> we nice. killed the president. <sighs> oh, look out! <laughs> Spoiler alert, Toby. I mean Machete. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not good. It Killing might, presidents is never into good. The movie. All right. Well, well, oh, but. Uh, Apparently, I just lost everything, so let's let's see what happens here. Um, yeah, uh, last week I kind of said that this may be a bit of a um, this may be a bit of a TV conspiracy podcast because uh, we hadn't talked about a bunch of the shows recently. But before that, because uh, we have a lot of stuff to talk about, some various TV shows. Unless you're Bryce, um, who <laughs> who who is here for a glorious episode in which he has not watched any of the shows we're going to talk about. Hey, oh, I've watched have some you? Shield. Okay, okay, Walking and Dead. I'm sh- Certainly going to weigh in my opinion, even though I haven't watched them. So don't, oh, don't, okay, okay. don't worry about me not talking, Ryan. Okay, okay, perfect. perfect. Happy belated, Wait, brother. So, oh, so, thank you very much. So You're the Brock welcome. reviews, uh, are, are you doing them too, then? No, no, because Brock <laughs> actually watched them. Oh, that's what I meant. Usually, no. <laughs> All right. I don't know. If we swing it around to the cartoon conspiracy, then everything will go on its head. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, we have a couple questions here, so I'll start with a few well, of those. This is from Jason, who asks, uh, do any of you guys ever read any manga? Uh, he just started his first one, Attack on Titan, and loving it so far, which is a, that's a very popular manga uh, anime right now. Uh, I know Brock doesn't read manga. No. I know all the Omar, Asians Omar in the house. Omar reads other Asian books. No, I read a lot of manga like yeah, before. But now um, you read other Asian books. Yeah. Like the Hong Kong stuff. Oh no! Well, the man who I, I grew up on that stuff too. Yeah. That was that was the shit, and it still is. Like that that holds probably more regard, higher regard than a lot of the manga for me. That's why I thought. Yeah, yeah. Just because you want why the machete brush, knows this. That's what, why. Why is that? Because machete just knows. Oh, it's okay, <laughs> that makes sense, dude. It's just like I'm trying to keep a straight face and trying to like have this conversation with you, but this just isn't happening. <laughs> Toby, for those at home, is wearing a a machete kills. Um, t-shirt but the face of machete is over toby's face so and it's hilarious because it actually is almost like the same like size as the face, meta face. <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right why, why, why don't we take bryce it off should only be addressed as Mar- not not marvel bryce today but as birthday bryce all right yeah but but with the manhua going back to that it's just that's why i'm such a f- big fan of the color coloring the, f- the airbrushing that to this day we still have well no we see it now we see it now with technology and the digital coloring you know um but Back in the '90s, that was like you don't see that kind of stuff, not that level of detail on on uh, the sequential art. So, highly recommend uh, anything anything from uh, Wing Shing Ma. He's probably my favorite of uh, a lot of the Manhua artists. Um, there's a bunch of movies that came out of a lot of the books he did, like Blood Sword, Storm Riders. All you slanty eyed people know this shit. I only have once let it die. <laughs> okay, Toby. Well, well, take your shirt off. Take that, take that goddamn thing off your face. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's not a shirt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I, so I never ventured into manga because yeah. uh, it was sort of from the outside. It looked like there was just too much stuff for me. If I tried to dive in there, I would just get lost. So I would uh, love to hear, as I'm sure some people interested in uh, dipping their toe in manga, what are some good intro to manga sort of stories that you would uh, recommend? Now, Toby is a big manga fan. Toby, yes. do you want to have some recommendations for Bryce? For Bryce? Yeah. That likes X-Men? It's a little harder. I do like myself some X-Men. I know. There is a Japanese X-Men, though. There's a Japanese Batman. By Kia Asayama? Asayama? I think so. The guy who did Silent yeah, Mobius. Yeah, he did like yeah. a he did like a miniseries. Yeah, he miniseries. did like a nice yeah, little hardcover Batman. Out yeah. of print now, isn't Children it? Children of something. Yeah, probably. It's probably out yeah. of print. Yeah. Um, I don't know, Charlie. I don't know what to recommend, Bryce. See, that's a really hard one because no, it really depends. Um, it is so big and so vast. It's like. 
When you go, like, right. you know, someone comes to you and goes, hey, what comics do you recommend? First question you ask, what are you into? Kind of. Do you, do you like superheroes? Like, I, I would say X-Men. Do yeah, like, well, <laughs> uh, we'll pass the X-Men thing. You were like, do you no, like no, superheroes? No, no. Do you like, yeah, yeah. you know, like horror? Do you like... I mean, do you like food? Um, I mean, do I like to eat delicious food? Yes. Do I like to read about food? No. Did, did you ever read Chew before? No. Chew? Mm. John are, Lehman? Are there yeah. Spanish people fighting crime? Um, no, but there is a manga that is super, super, super popular, and actually there was a cartoon made of it and a TV show. It's called Uishimbo. That's probably one of the more popular mm. ones that a lot. It's I think it's come across. I'm surprised there is no American movie of it yet. <laughs> um, but I was talking with one of my friends about it, and it's just kind of like celebrates all the different types of foods of Japan, and it's mm. kind of like uh, through the story. It's told through the story of this like culinary journalist. Kind of like this guy that goes in eats in places, but what he does is he also talks about the history of the food, how it's made, how it's prepared. So it's almost like a recipe, recipe mm. book, and it, it talks about the di- uh, which which prefecture and which like you know area it's from in Japan, and the history of you know why it's made a certain way. Mm. Um, in America, we got the Food Network. <laughs> yes, um, but Ushinbo yeah, has but been around Japan, for a long, 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 long time. It. Yeah. In Japan, you pretty much have a comic book about anything. Just about yeah. anything, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I grew up with um, uh, Slam Dunk, uh, Saint Seiya, City Hunter, uh, Doraemon, Dr. Slump, um, a lot of the Akira stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, I wait, what was the question? What's recommended? What, what, what's good to jump in? Yeah. I mean, it, like I said, for, it's, it's, for people, I, it, so I'm not going to get into manga. I mean, it's too, just, too it's a, well, on, you might have to read one oh. because I was almost one of my picks. This, this, uh, I picked Jim Hansen in the end, but yeah, yeah, yeah but uh, you know, I, I like the the Bakuman, which I know one of the guys on the forum hates. It's all right, sorry, dude. Uh, um, what am I reading these days? Uh, yeah, it's Bakuman. I just finished. It just finished up. So it's I mean, a, it's a book about comic creation. It's like two guys trying to make it in the industry, and they're sitting there trying to make. That sounds stories. awesome. It's actually a really well done book, I think. Um, hmm, yeah, um, there's uh, Hikaru no Go is one of my favorites too. It's a uh, it's a manga about just the playing the game of Go. I mean, there's a, a well, there's a lot more. Well, there's to a lot it more to that. it. I mean, there's a ghost that you <laughs> know invests right himself now. in the you know. In, no, but in I've the, watched the, the anime. Yeah. Um, Cowboy Bebop is actually Cowboy Bebop was the anime first, then the manga came. I don't think yeah. I ever got into the manga on that one. So, uh, yeah, I've seen Cowboy Bebop. I loved it. Yeah, yeah. But it's the only anime that I've. Like, but that one seen. is does yeah. usually the manga comes first and then the anime comes. That one was kind of an, a reverse effect. So I jumped onto the wrong ship. Yeah, he did. Damn it. Um, oh. But like to me, I have read manga before, but it's always been like I got really into the dot hack anime and then I jumped into a bunch of the dot hack manga that uh-huh. was around that had different stories and such. And same with like Trigun and stuff like that. It was always get really into the show. I want to just like when I get really into anything, I go, now I want to read a comic of it. Mm, exactly. I mean, we can't go without saying Miyazaki because like, that's just oh, like the oh, classics. Miyazaki, so good. Um, the best story but for anybody me. Anybody that likes Miyazaki should definitely check out Korra and Avatar, though. It's, it's yeah. right up the alley. It's Especially like last – I'm just totally springboarding into another thing. Last week's Korra episode was phenomenal. Yep. They did a origin of where everything started. A lot of people just, were talking about it. It yeah. was like yeah. mind blowingly good. I mean, even the style, they were like, even did the kind of Chinese painting style of uh-huh. backgrounds, like That's the sick. sky, because it's all a flashback. So they did like yeah. a completely different style for the animation style. It was just really well done. Yeah. yeah. The best, uh, in my opinion, um, Miyazaki ever is Naushika. That's like just the classic. Nausicaa. Nothing has ever gotten above that to me. What about Totoro? That's my favorite. It's good. It's good. My favorite. Uh, I loved. I loved basically anything that Miyazaki puts his name on for the most part. Yeah, I he, he's pretty love good. Nausicaa. Yeah, I love Castle in the Sky as well. Steampunk. Yeah. Respect Ryan. <laughs> That's Ryan's favorite. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, but I yeah, saw- Ryan's also a huge Miyazaki uh, file. Yeah. Just like I am. Yeah, I need to. I that new movie of his is not out in the states. I don't. Think. Might have been his last, right? Yeah, he's saying he's kind of retiring. Like, yeah, his he's been over. saying that for like ten movies now. That's true. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know what Ryan will say. What he follows? What's that? Rama. Ma- manga. Rama. I love Rama. Oh, oh, that's, Rama. Awesome. that's a classic. Definitely. That's a classic. Yeah, I mean, I don't read. I don't read a lot of new stuff. I mean, I've read some of the old stuff. I'm actually Vertical right now is reissuing all the Gundam manga, like the original Gundam stuff, mm-hmm. and that's actually a really nice collection. Uh, Vertical Inc. They do amazing jobs with their mm-hmm. books. 
but a lot of, a lot of the way people read manga is just the fan translation stuff that you can go online and read. So like the books, like Jump Magazine and all the big um, anthologies are printed, and then people just scan scanlate them. So it's called, and they scan and then translate it and put it online because so little of that stuff comes out here legally. Mm. There's like no way to buy it. So mm. Rumi calls it at the Mason Ikuku, which I loved. Yeah, it's a great great. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like she, that one a lot. She liked that in Inuyasha and yeah. um, a bunch of. You know what? She's... I think Bryce might like Naruto. It's a. It's a that sounds familiar. It's huge. Well, it was huge yeah. a while ago, and then turned into a Dragon it's, Ball. It's, it's kind of like the X Men of the. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a, basically a bunch of kids are uh, they grow up as ninjas and they in have to school. go to ninja school. Yeah. Uh, in ninja school, they train their powers and stuff like that. And then they have to go on missions together. Think X Men. Think X Men. Uh, uh, Wolverine and the X Men. Yes, absolutely. With ninjas. I think. You, I that think you'll dig it. Kind I, of. I, yeah. I think you'll dig it. All right. Think like X Men meets Harry Potter and ninjas. But there's a lot of it. A lot of ninjas. <laughs> and well, well I, I meant a lot of books and or a lot of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Naruto and to get into something new. Naruto and One Piece. If I do get into anything, I'll check it out. You should definitely check out Naruto. Okay. Yes. Does Brock have a pick? No. Okay. <laughs> Next well, what question, I what Brock. I tell oh, people like kidding. what I tell people like you know if you're if you're here and you haven't read any other manga like like I love Dragon Ball seen, the original run I like when they were kids. But I mean, if you've seen like Ghost in the Shell or Akira or any of those that are real popular here, there's mangas of those. Those are all mangas. So just read those. And if you like the style. Go find other stuff. So it makes it easy. Yeah. Uh, let's Good see. question, Ryan. Yeah. yeah what else? You. What else is on the queue? Uh, this is from David. He says, um, uh, "My comic shop is advertising a thing called Comic Fest. Is it something all comic shops take place in, like Free Comic Book Day." I'm assuming. Uh, bleh, I'm assuming he means the Halloween Comic Fest, which is sort of a secondary Free Comic Book Day uh, that started a couple years ago. And like Free Comic Day, it's. Um, it's up to the store if they want to take part in it, and I don't do it. I don't. We've, I got a few of them. Like I think the first year, and like no one cared. I didn't give away a single thing. Free Comic Day has become this huge thing. Sure, but this Comic Fest is just like they're like they're like little digest sized comics. Some of them are reprints, some of them are new, and you're supposed to give them away to kids, you know, trick or treating or whatever. But like we don't get kids here. Kids don't trick or treat around here. No, no. Mm. Because you're next to a high school instead of a. <laughs> well, I that I don't. That's just maybe a California thing. I yeah. You know, I'll go through residential areas around here. I never see anyone trick or treating. I'm pretty sure if if the high school that your comic shop was next to was Archbishop Mitty, I'm pretty sure you'd have a shitload of <laughs> people out there going I'm just, house I'm just to house. Not in general, like just just Bay no, Area no, like, stuff. Growing up here, I mean, it's, growing up here, I mean, you definitely have seen a drop off in in kids that are going. The, going trick or treating. The kids go to the affluent neighborhoods. That's the reality of it. They well, go to where the good candy is. They also mm-hmm. go to the mall now, or they go <laughs> yeah. to like yeah. Saratoga or Campbell and walk the downtown area, and the businesses give them out candy. Yeah. Like they don't walk around in their own neighborhoods anymore. Right. Or no. well, bigger high density areas. No. Like my spot will probably mm-hmm. be. There's like a hundred houses all right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah, like yeah. safe because there's for not sure, a big, for sure. There's street. nothing else going on there. It's just all homes, which yeah. is awesome. I know where I live, we always get a fair amount of kids on Halloween, and like I always take my kids out trick or treating right around the house and always see a ton of people. So. Cool. Cool. My old but, neighborhood was pretty cool. They would do, um, there's uh, three houses that would get together and build a giant spook house together. Like three nice. families just get together and they build this giant, uh, like, laboratory or labyrinth where you have to go through, and there's people that are scaring. Uh, there's people that are scaring, and for some reason today I got to be really close to the mic. No, you can pull back. You just you're like talking like to your nose. Oh, yeah. oh fine. There you go. There you go. <laughs> but no, it was really cool, and they still do it to this day. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah I was. I grew up in like a small town neighborhood, small town uh, Brisbane, which mm. is like outside of San Francisco, and very very like. Wonder Years type of town. Mm-hmm. Everybody knew each other's name. I knew the mayor well, on the first name basis. In the yeah, mountains it's the, the same fucking thing. cows. <laughs> well, when he broke I didn't the have window, any cows around. But. When he broke the window, the, the, the <laughs> clerk at the uh, supermarket would know about it. Yeah, you I know. It was the, the same kind of broke shit. the damn yeah. window. I'm like, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I grew up in little little town Massachusetts. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, it's a real small town. So. Oh, that, then why do you like the Cardinals? What? <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, I mean, we had a lot of trick-or-treating growing up, but, but yeah, no, not so much anymore. Oh, well. Um, this is a question about Arrow, which we'll, um, we'll answer this later. We got more. want to do a, a spook house one day. That'd be dope. Just rent down a, a lot and just build something cool. It's scary. I have a question for listeners. I want to dress up my 15-month-old son as Magneto for Halloween. Um, Are you going to have him floating? 
You don't want to put some magnetic stuff in his shoe and yeah. that he's floating on this like a little yeah. floaty. Yeah, totally. Cool. I'm mean, gonna have him floating. Excellent. So what I want to or ask, have him like on a string and you, like like a fish hook. Just one <laughs> string. <laughs> <laughs> like floating. Yeah. All attached to his diaper. What could yeah. go wrong? And okay. you should you should be you should be Magneto and your wife should be Polaris. Ooh. 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 Because. They no, should see. be my daughter? No, no, see. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce's son is going to be Magneto. <laughs> no, you should be Rogue, I meant. Rogue. His, his wife you should is, be Rogue. His wife, and is gonna, his wife is going to be... Wait, you should... Bryce should be Rogue. <laughs> no, 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 I miss no, no, you, do it th- you do it the reverse, right? So your kid's Magneto, right? That's and Comic then, Alliance's favorite cosplay, too, by the way. The role reversal on that. That's, yeah. that's her favorite. And then you you, you be Quicksilver and your wife be role reversal Scarlet Witch. Either. <clears throat> I like where this is going. Yeah, like, that'd be cool. Uh, yeah, that you would have be the cool. hair for it. But then I'd be brother and sister with my wife. That's <sighs> hey, also weird. But they love each other. Then you guys have. But they love each other. You guys have a Lannister Lannister key key over on your chest. You know, <laughs> I'm just thinking back to Ultimate <laughs> yeah, Three. <it's> Ultimate <laughs> Three, Scarlet Witch, and it's Quicksilver. <laughs> I think it's well, more than Ultimate Three. Anyway, my question is, <laughs> how? Who can give me a good recommendation for a uh, a bucket head that I can like cut out the the, the watermelon face area of for a magneto helmet for my son? A watermelon? I'm not gonna have him wear a watermelon. No, on his head. not a watermelon. Like what? What axes? What would I would be able to cut away to make a good uh, magneto helmet for my 15 month old? Anyway, I'm just gonna put that out there into the ether. Next L- question, Mr. Higgins. Foam. Well, that's it for questions. L- but we have a couple foam. things. We have a couple things to talk about before we L- move on foam. to uh, before we move on to. TV conspiracy, Toby. What? So here we go. Um, Machete is listening. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> no. <laughs> the big crossovers have finished up, or actually, well, in the case of um, Forever Evil, it just started. But uh, we're already talking about next year's big crossovers. Um, some of this came from... Um, in TV? Bleeding Cool. No, no, comic book crossovers. Oh, okay. Comic book crossovers. Um is it uh, Red Lantern meets like Blue Lanterns? DC, uh, is, the big rumor is that there's a, uh, a book called Five Years Later, starting with Free Comic Day in April, um, or May, end, end, end of April, beginning of May, uh, where they're going to jump the books for a month in September to five years in the future of DC, kind of like uh, the one year later stuff they sort of did uh, back in mm-hmm. 52. But at least with this is five years later, and then they'll go back and whatever. So that's rumored to be the big september crossover for um for next year uh and then there's going to be a weekly series after that with brian azarello jeff lemire keith giffen and dan jorgens sort of another 52 so a weekly series um i think did we talk about this like a week or two ago when this first popped up no we uh, talked about batman um yeah, yeah the this, batman eternal this sort of was around the same time where this is sort of rumor um well uh we don't know Mar- I mean, again this is a rumor so we have no idea um but uh, Rich Johnson over on Bleeding Cool saying that um, uh, Rick Mender and Salvador La Roca are doing uh, the next big Marvel crossover, yes. which I think is to make Bryce happy. This yeah. boy, Rick Remender. Rick Remender, so, yeah. Solid, Salvador, what, what happened to that guy? Come on. Salvador La Roca? He just yeah. can't do ongoing titles. He was gr- amazing in Extreme X-Men back in the day. Yeah, he, was, yeah. he was incredible in Daredevil for a while, too. He, did he was in Ultimate Daredevil too. Yeah, um, Ultimate Daredevil, I remember. Yeah, and then but then with the uh, X Force or on Kenny or Cable, I'm sorry, Cable and X Force, just terrible. Like, what are you doing? Just know. like Finch, like he's like one of the shittiest artists out right now, just because he rushes his work to try to make deadlines. It's a great. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. the, I, I totally agree. Finch so good, but then when you rush it, yeah, it's, like, it's just horrible. Well, he's saying here that they want to buy a weekly schedule on it, and Laroca to do the whole series. So he's gonna have a long head start on that. Hopefully, he has a good inker. Yeah, yeah <laughs> hopefully, he has a good finisher because he's gonna need a lot of finishing. Peter Steigerwald. <laughs> Wait, so do, if it's Remender, I mean, I'm assuming that's Captain America. What else is he doing? A cap event? No, I mean, what else is he doing? I mean, he he can. As, or, he or, or, I guess it would be. To, no, I guess it would be Uncanny Avengers. I guess Uncanny Avengers would be the lead. Into more the likely event. than just yeah, cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're doing all that stupid. All that stupid apocalypse babies or whatever the hell's going hey, on. What? Over there. Don't badmouth apocalypse Dude, babies. Dude, I, I can't. What are you talking about? I gave up on Astonishing Avengers. I, yeah, I, well, I that's really. That's not the name of it, so I don't know what you gave or, up on. Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah what is try. Our Uncanny Avengers. Oh, good try, bro. Yeah. Astonishing Avengers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, amazing X Men's coming out. It's yeah. all. It's over. You like, know, you're still thinking anymore. about Disney. It's okay. Uh, in any capacity, it's not fail. So, yeah. 
Um, Uncanny <laughs> Avengers is actually Uncanny really Avengers good. Is one of the ah. best books out. Um, Top I, three for the, me. The Apocalypse Twins. It's it's great. Classic. Uh, Raised by Kang, they have like all new power sets. They're oh, fucking yeah. incredibly powerful, and they're all fucked up in the head. I, I mean, yeah. you guys remember? I really liked that first couple issues, and I was like, "This is really good." And then it just yeah. But the way you I are can't. is like you will like something it's just bad. to spite us because we no. always call you a, a yeah, Marvel hater. For sure. No, what? So then, you, so then you jump on the first couple, just like you did with Avengers and New Avengers. Oh, I really like these first couple issues to placate us and then oh no, i hated months, the first issue of avengers a couple months later you're like oh no i gave it a shot but it's just so bad when in fact it's not bad it's too bad though that he miss he's missing out on uncanny adventures with that the new cameo with the new warriors in it oh yeah, 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 yeah. oh Th- that speedball son of apocalypse <laughs> 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 there you go i would believe it if it was pendants <laughs> That's what's going to happen, by the way, with New Warriors too. Is that Ryan is so excited now, and he's going to give it a shot, and a couple months later, he's going to be like, "Oh, it's just so bad." And then they're going to put somebody on the book that Ryan just I like tried. doesn't love. Remember. It's like whether it's Loeb or Bendis or whatever. It'll be the whoever the creator is of that title. Exactly. Remember, it's just but, real hit or miss for me. A real hit or miss. Well, what what? Give me uh, very quick top three hits for Remender. Hot hits. Go. I mean, X Force was great. Yep. His Uncanny X Force was yep. amazing. Keep going. Um, Two more. I, I don't remember. I'm trying to think what else you read. Fear, Fear Agent. I only read a little bit of that. It's not that it wasn't. It was not that it was bad. I just I just didn't stick with okay, it. Okay, top two then. Top two. I, I mean, I'm I'm. Oh Jesus! I'm trying to think. I can't. I don't. I can't remember what came out yesterday. I, no I love his Secret Avenger shit. He he picked up af- oh. after uh, fucking uh, yeah, I didn't like that. Warren Ellis. Oh, he, oh no, he picked up so bad. I loved it. It was like. He saved the day. I was going to cut it, and then and yeah. then he got on, and I was like, "Who's this Remender guy?" I was yeah. late to the Remender wagon. Anyway, what are your top two worst Remender books? Why not? Uh, well, Captain America is what? terrible. Cap's terrible. Yeah, way, Cap how, is pretty bad. I, I tried even how, post how, John no. Romita. Right, not <laughs> right. No, I tried even post John Romita, like the last issue or two, and I was like, "No, this is the." Well, really I awful. thought Eleven was fine, but this like random. Nuke. I understand that no. Nuke's like a big Cap. Uh, you know, stupid. Uh, you know, yeah, he's terrible. Whatever Punisher kind of want to be. Yeah, yeah. kind of uh, like, yeah. But Hard-boiled man, cat. I, I hated issue 12. Just because it was so like, wow, this is awkward. He's just killing everybody and he's a brainwashed super soldier. Like, oh, yeah. that's kind of that's kind of weird. He's just yeah, killing everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Speaking of X-Men, did I tell you there's going to be a Days of Future Past X-Men set coming out? In Heroclix? Yeah. You're, don't play with my t- And emotions. Deadpool. Oh, my God. We're going to have to take yeah. this offline. Yeah, sorry. The, the clicks conspiracy. Oh, uh, we'll okay. record that later. Anyway, um, Lost that bet. so Remender is amazing. Uh, to summarize, um, <laughs> he's not 100 percent on everything because I agree that Cap. Like I, I really want to like it. Like a lot of stuff I don't like. No good. Um, but Cap is it's killing me. No good in the hood. Um, but yeah, Uncanny Avengers is very good, and I can't wait to read his. Uh, uh, I tried. I'm telling you, I tried. Anyway, so. Um, in the meantime, can we talk about something better uh, before you get back to the crossovers for Marvel? Oh, I totally have a. Actually, oh. I'm told, I totally have a couple of really, really good Rick Remender <laughs> books here because I just looked at his biography. I completely forgot about these. Sea of Red and Strange Girl, both from Image Comics. Fantastic books. I know books. Strange Girl. I don't know Sea of Red. Fantastic books. Okay, keep going. I really like those. Yep, keep going. Um, I just want to pull up his list here. I want to well, I wish I had um, Wikipedia in front of me. I could. Yeah, yeah. Uncanny X Force, huh. yeah. Counting your points. You, um, you have a smartphone. As Punisher was no that, good. Uh, Venom. I could not get into the Venom stuff. But, no, this, I, but this I, is I, Venom. Like stupid. I said, I was late to the Remender party. Yeah. I, I heard that he had done Venom after I jumped on. Yeah. Because I was already reading X Force and I was like, oh, well, this, this guy Remender, he's. Those are three. Great. Was it his idea, though, to do the Flash Thompson or was it somebody else? You told me this, Charlie. You schooled me on that. Charlie Charlie no. knows everything no? about comics. Charlie wasn't schools you? a lot of people. No, no, no. one. Really? No, the Flash Thompson Venom stuff that, that came was, out of Amazing. Spider-Man. Yeah, that was in Amazing. Oh, was it back yeah. back years ago? Yeah, a couple years ago. So, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so the Remender crossover, whatever it is, is yeah. going to be amazing. Uh, hopefully, hopefully. bi weekly though with La Roca. That I call shenanigans, but whatever. Yeah. Well, if they give them enough time, if they give them a year's head start. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, but that's just going to lead to things not making sense, and the news are going to line up. Can well, we th- there could be some good Marvel news <clears throat> oh. coming up. They're coming up. They're in a tease in the most recent issue of Guardians of the Galaxy. Possibility of maybe a little uh, Nova Retrider coming back. Maybe a little bit of a possibility of Namorita. So some some more new warriors maybe coming oh, wait, back. I read that issue. Coming when, when back. Was, when was, was that? In the latter column. There needs oh, to be one more person Dark in that Hawk? line. Darkhawk? Darkhawk 2 or no, Quasar? Who else, was, who else was stuck in the Cancerverse at the end of that stuff? 
At the end of Annihilation, Brock knows. Ugh, Annihilation is so right. good. No, Brock and I both got confused last week. And yeah, because then... I thought it was only Rich and... Was it Rich and Darkhawk or it was, was it Rich no, and Quasar? It was only supposed to be Rich and Star uh, Rich and Star Lord. But there was someone. It was a Star. Okay, so it was, was Star Lord at the very end. Like yeah. Nimorda. I don't even remember her being stuck in there. Like yeah, we were talking about know, this last week. Remember. You call yourself a Marvel fan? No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how long ago and I like that stuff was? Yeah, I'll have to go back. And how much those. of it there was? Yeah. You thought Messiah Complex was, that was a in lot. depth? Annihilation, Annihilation. That was like Conquest, three books a year, and that was like 15 books. No, I actually books. think that the Messiah X genre had more than Annihilation. But I, I, no. see, what, I see I get your point. No. No, no that no, space stuff was a lot. No, the Annihilation went to Annihilation, from Annihilation to Annihilation Conquest, then we had. Uh, I have like 10 hardcovers on yeah, my yeah, shelf for that entire I know, thing. Because I'll look at it. You got what? War of Kings, you have Realm of Kings, you have. I occasionally no, that was all post Annihilation, though. But it's still. It's, all, it's all the space it's, stuff. It's, no, no, no it's all one part. So series, the whole Guardian series. Basically, Annihilation was the equivalent of Messiah Complex. <laughs> yeah. And then it. Conquest was the. Yes. There was a lot. <laughs> See, now you're speaking my language, Charlie. Well, occasionally I go to Charlie's place and I, I touch those books, so I know. Can Do you we, smell them? Yeah. Can we get a, a three cheer or maybe zero cheers, but just uh, happiness in our hearts that Astonishing X Men is finally done? <laughs> and now we only have to get rid of X Men Legacy. I think, you're, you're, X-Men I Legacy. think you're happy because that drops a book off of your list that you have to buy. I'm, Except yeah. they'll add another four. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm Seriously. pretty sure X Men Legacy has officially been been canceled. So mm. it's this most recent solicitation. It's. It was like oh the the conclusion or whatever like I'm pretty sure it's over. Yeah, the, so. I think the the words were this book comes out this month. They, they didn't even care to write anything about it. Good, I'm, that's I'm, fair. Well, I'm so glad for all the listeners that didn't um, hear the podcast the last two weeks about how Ryan has made the turn on Infinity being such a great series. Uh, uh it is. Infinity's been great. <laughs> it's been incredible. Having Dude, spent a so little. Good. Having paid a little more attention to it is better than at first, but I still feel Infinity is really kind of stuck in its own thing and means nothing to the rest of the world, and like I just don't see it affecting anything. Like Infinity should be a big Marvel event, but it's not affecting any. But I get this way with a lot of the crossovers, yeah. Yeah, yeah, where, about the- where a lot of these crossovers feel like like Forever Evil. It's like, well, okay, that really isn't affecting anything. That, that's pretty much what I was going to be. It's yeah, like, yeah, okay, it's not it's, limited just to this. Yeah. AVX felt like it affected a lot of different books. It doesn't yeah. have to be everything has to be a crossover because a little bit of the crossover books I read, it's like this has nothing to do with Infinity. We haven't seen the Terra Genesis terraforming gen- Terra Genesis stuff yet right so, well we've seen a little bit of it yeah a smidge yeah of course the big one with uh thane or whatever his name is but yeah. uh and it started to spill off into some of the other books really hopefully we get some yeah. cool heroes out of there what? villains well, I'm villains excited. i'm excited for them to develop thane more i thought dude that black bolt versus thanos oh dude thrown, that was yeah was Intense. so awesome yeah. it was so awesome Loved it. Loved okay, I got, I got, before, yeah. oh, wait, wait, before we move on, can I say something about that five years later thing? Yeah. I'm totally not looking forward to that because I feel like every time they do a crossover like that, it fucks up all the stuff I like. Well, we were just like, talking bef- uh, before the podcast about they had, DC had their, um, the 23s had a big, um, issue number 23s for all the DC books had like a big cliffhanger. Mm-hmm. And then you had Villains Month. Yep. And then the 24s, a bunch of the 24s are now ending on a cliffhanger. Because a bunch of these books are going into um, Zero Year, which is the Batman crossover next month. So it's like we've had like two issues of the actual book in four months. Mm, it's like, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, if the September events continuously pause the DC Universe. And I always hated the pause. It's rough. When they did the one yeah. year later, I felt a lot of the things I was looking forward to never got resolved in the yeah. books before the well, one year later thing happened then they it, jumped on one year and then they came back and I was like it just made a mess if well one year later they jumped and they never went back this is at least yeah. just a one shot issue and then back to the yeah. regular what titles. is the thing that uh, Giffen and Jurgens and all those other guys are doing it's like a five year later like uh, weekly series like a 52 I smell booster gold oh hell yeah booster I'll be gold. stoked about that Hell yeah, Booster Gold. <laughs> but I actually had one, one question here that came in from Ryan in Iowa who asks, how come it's always about Marvel and DC? Uh, I never hear about Image on the podcasts. I call, I call, Image is actually good and we don't uh, have to bash it. And I call shenanigans on that. We, we've talked about Image and Indy. I said Fear and Agent. Indie stuff. Do I need so, to? Uh, it, not, not, not consistently, but I, I feel, and I've talked to this before, I feel 
the news stuff we talk about, Image of Dark Horse and all of these guys, except for around Comic-Con or when they do with some announcements, the, the news, quote-unquote, is, is very minimal for these companies. Because, like, yep, they released a new book, and yep, new saga is coming out, and yep. So, well, hey, new Brian K. Vaughn book, but that's so infrequently. Uh, Marvel and DC, the way their stories are, are run out kind of as news with the big events and the big crossovers and the big cancellations and the relaunches and stuff mm-hmm. like that, it, it's it's such a different uh, week-to-week uh, uh thing than the way image and a lot of the independent books do so i i know bryce a recent listener to the um infinite long box podcast yeah. commented before the show to charlie that the last episode of their uh podcast where they reviewed books um talked about no marvel and dc titles at all uh <laughs> well, which charlie any. which charlie was unaware which was blissfully unaware of so yeah. he didn't even realize. well it was uh, <clears throat> see on the infinite long box we always prioritize the new number ones to sort of give a shot and talk about and, and image has a lot of new number ones yes. okay stop playing your other shows that Charlie. particular episode was Dude, wade and fucking like uh peter david read that, to their shit. image books and a couple of vertigo books and like it was a ton and ernie Ways follows them anyway look my- <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome he know. does. What that? Ninja <laughs> Turtles. Oh, Ninja Pizza oh. Boy. That's pretty cool. Hey, so what I think why it's all about Marvel and DC is because as much as it might be depressing to think about the market share sort of dictates the content of the podcast to a certain extent. It's about 80% Marvel and DC. I mean, I think that the podcast ah. is probably about 80% Marvel and DC. Actually, you know what I think? It's, it's actually probably- low. I, the current, currently, Marvel and DC are about 65 to 70% of the market share. That's, I mean, that's a historical low. The only reason why some of my friends click on shit is because they see Iron Man and sure. other recognizable Batman, sure. any type of sure. hashtags or things that, you know, but if there's, if there's a great independent comic, I'll, I'll, I'll be the first to talk about it. You know, I yeah. love, I love it. Like so. well, now you when you get order, around to reading it, like yeah. the one you won't order, so we can't read it, or like the one that everyone talks about, like Saga, like oh, oh it's like, like Wild well, Blue exactly. Wonder, yeah. Wild Blue Yonder. Well, I mean, yeah. just last week I was going off about that Afterlife with Archie book, perfect example. Yeah. Like perfect that's example. something. Do we get those in here? No, not yet, not yet. But unless hmm, what a surprise. <laughs> well, let's, well, let's Ryan's talk MO. <laughs> I order them when, D, when Diamond wants to ship them. They'll ship them. Anyway, let's talk about some Marvel and DC stuff. And, and, some, and, some, image, and some image stuff as well. But only for 80% of the time. Yeah. Right. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Arrow, Walking Dead, uh, Batman, uh, Where the Batman. Uh, I think there was something else we want to talk about, too. You can talk about Korra if you want. But there was something I thought there was another show we want to talk about briefly. Mm. Okay, well the That's worst first, a lot. The worst first. Uh Beware, Arrow? The, beware the Batman. <laughs> okay. Arrow? I was about to say Beware what, the Batman. Which one are they give that one? Beware the Batman. Uh apparently announced today that it's like off the air now for mm-hmm. we don't know why or for how long mm-hmm. or it may just be a week, but yeah. it's what? off my TiVo. I deleted it. Done. I'm the I, I tried. I was going to start watching an episode, and I was like, anything but Beware the Batman. That's fine, because we don't I need can. you. I because if so you bad. get the closest thing to like a John Lehman version of Batman, which is kind of like a throwback to the 80s, where you see Batman in his vehicle talking to Alfred, being in his fucking uh, bat fucking jet, whatever the fuck you call it, his Batmobile, his bat cycle. Batwing. And Batwing. Batwing. Thank you. I know. Bat chopper. I know. It's, it's Ailsmith. The Ailsmith does it to bat me. Submarine. I'm sorry. does it to me too. <laughs> bat boat. And then he's also has this incredible uh, sidekick, but actually more, much more partner. The, the closest partner I've seen to maybe Tim Drake in Katana. So when this incredible, when this show is on the air, let me know because it's not right now. I've I, watched I, it. The la- I've watched the last four episodes, I've, I've so actually, I don't know. I've, I've actually Stunk. seen a couple just, episodes. Just because we read it on Bleeding Cool, I'm sorry. I, I've no actually more. read a couple episodes or watched a couple episodes because it's my son watches. I yeah. scan through and. He doesn't even like it. No, it's like, terrible. He, he'll watch like Teen Titans Go and he'll look at it and he'll watch like Batman animated and he'll if be like, you would, If did you Brock had told just me, say he watches Beware the Batman? If you had told me a year ago that Teen Titans Go was going to be amazing and Beware the Batman was going to be the biggest piece of garbage, I would have been like, What are you, stupid? Man, Teen Titans Go, fantastic. It, it's, did you see it's, that it's last pretty, episode? I'm like a couple episodes back. Oh, so dude. Fun. I'm just, always. I watched a couple of episodes. I am, back. I am. And I watched, issues back. Except on Arrow, uh, Agents of Shield, it's because and he likes Dead. himself some Ollie. Um, no, I've, I, I've, I've, I've watched a couple of episodes with my son, and Teen Titans Go is is funny. It's entertaining. Yeah. It's great for kids, but it also appeals to the adults. But where the Batman? 
I, it was so bad. Yeah, like it, 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 I mean, it was horrible. I put it on the Batman and like that '90s Spider-Man show, and well, like the CG. The Batman the CG. got good by like the last season or yeah. last two seasons. Wait, so for the forty? Sorry, Omar. No, don't be sorry. It's fine. I can't. That you guys have bad taste. Well, I can't deal and so with your son. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still sticking the injustice. I'm, 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 I'm boycotting all of it. You also unless like I force you to watch it. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that's different. That's <laughs> For the forty percent of your audience that hasn't watched this, is this a cartoon or is this a show? Can you can you guys tell? Where the Batman it's cartoon? Yeah. It's a CGI yeah. cartoon. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. kind of like in the same vein of uh, the Green Lantern. Okay, yeah. so the show that was um, Green Lantern in the was better. Of this podcast. We're going to implement a new segment. Yeah. It's okay. called um, Bryce's Top Seven X Men. Clicks conspiracy. No, but I have to do that again. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. called Fifteen Second Pro Con. In the Beware the Batman category, Omar will be doing the pro <laughs> and Ryan will be doing the con. We're gonna you guys. Oh, I'm. I haven't seen. Hold it. on, I, you guys. Each get fifteen seconds, okay? Is, is this, to, is this to, canon? To pro and con it, okay? Are you ready, Omar? And go. Fresh new characterizations of long upheld uh, characters like Batman and Alfred, we have, <laughs> and all of his vehicles and all of his toys. Huh? Done. Uh, he doesn't even need the full fifteen no, seconds. Done. Okay. Really all right. Don't. Okay. Ryan, Ryan and go. Uh, dreadful art style, terrible CG animation, boring characters. Like I like the Joker, and I like you know some of these random characters. It doesn't have to be the Joker every time, but God, they're scraping the bottom of the barrel. I don't think Joker's ever been in this animation. S- no. so what are you saying? No, he Quit trolling, bro. Snorting. Quit trolling, bro. No, what I'm saying is I I like. <laughs> I'm fine with Magpie being in an episode, but a show based around Magpie okay. does not no, work. No, it's I'm sorry, it's Professor Pig and Toad. So okay, you're okay, okay. You, your 15 seconds are over, over. Two. and you can't interrupt Three. in this segment. Three, yeah, red anyway. card. Anyway, okay, from Brock, Charlie, and Toby, we need thumbs up or thumbs down. Was it the pro that won or the con that won? <laughs> okay, ready? Can, uh, I, can I get thumbs I'm up? I'm biased. Down? I can't do it. Then give me a thumbs up. Okay. Okay, what? Toby. Or do you mean down? A- anyway. Mine would be down on this one. Down. Oh, anyway. Down, down. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Omar. Bryce, I'm, I'm, I'm hijacking the podcast back. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a good segment. We should do that for the next show. I like that. I like that. Uh, <laughs> until, okay, so Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. We've talked about Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. at length the last few episodes. And for me, unless things change, I don't see the need to keep bringing it up. Just, just, it just, sure. I just, it's yeah. just solid. It's way better than anything that's oh, connected Jesus to anything Christ. on WB. Oh, you know what I mean? That's what that is. <laughs> is this, is See, this, right? until you start digging on Arrow, I'm like, okay, I can kind of agree. And then he starts digging on Arrow, and it's like, no. Is this just a beer trolling, or is this like, no, you no, actually this think is it's me. that good? I don't think it's actually that good. I just okay. think it's actually a lot better than alternative comic lo- comics lore on TV. Uh, yeah, the acting is far superior it, to anything oh, else. Like Shield? Yeah. Yeah. Knows a yes. Lot. The acting yeah, on Shield nothing. is great. Clarkson alone in his <clears throat> pinky, any little thing he says is better than anything on Arrow. I'm sorry. I've watched like uh, five episodes. Uh, when? In the past like two years. Uh, no, I disagree. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so anyway, I well, didn't like the first two episodes, even though I really wanted to of Shield. Yeah, and I've I haven't watched the full third one, but I watched the first half, okay. and I really like it more than the first two. I will tell yeah. you because the last two that episodes, one was a jiggle episode episodes four or three and four of uh, of Shield. The third episode is the one with um, Graviton. Uh, Graviton. Graviton, right? It's the origin of of the Avengers villain that that. In the comics, it's called Graviton. Similar power to like Magneto. Think gravity instead of magnetism. Uh, that episode was a little bit better. And the fourth episode, which was the sort of break into the you know kind of, style, yeah, you get a break in and get the what the heck were they trying to get? Like they, they had the uh, the guys or the lady's eye got like this camera in it, and yeah, she's trying really to cool. steal all these jewels. It was a little bit better, but where that storyline was pretty cool. You know, the, like the plot was pretty cool, yeah. But the acting was like mostly kind of okay. But it's because we I don't story as characters, I just don't feel like we're in a Marvel, Marvel movie universe. universe. It just it doesn't feel. I, I just don't get it. I, I don't know what this show has nothing to do with it. So I don't know anything about episode four, but when I heard gonna like prematurely it. that episode three was going to have graviton, and then the opening sequence 
semi trucks are like flying through the air because of the gravity, or whatever. Like I was like, this is fucking awesome. This is what every show right. should be about. Right. This exactly. is awesome. Exactly. Now, I haven't finished the episode yet, so I'm speaking uh, as usual, half hypocritically. But um, it's so far very good, and I can't wait to finish the episode. And I, I am now excited to watch the fourth episode as opposed to delaying watching the third one because I was dreading it. The that third episode was like, okay, we're kind of going in the right direction. And the fourth episode to me was like, okay, we're actually – this seems okay. Now, if we could just somehow combine the two. Well, They're I- slowly giving the show more and more of an edge because it very much started with the traditional kind of, no, we can't kill him. We got to do the right thing. We got to make this all work out correctly in the end. And every single episode – there's a little bit more of sort of darker undertones in it with the way that they have to handle things. And it's essentially becoming more and more black ops and less... Which it should have been to awesome. begin yeah. with. Yes. I have a question for Toby who actually is kind of like in the TV and film industry and does, yeah. has, has actually... He has an IMDb page. I don't. Like mm-hmm. I've done video games and I'm on there for that. But I mean mm-hmm. I haven't done actually things like entertainment like you mm-hmm. have. Tell me a little bit about the timeline of what a, from going to a pilot, the actual real time, from a pilot to actual shows afterwards and the budget that connects to it. I don't know. I didn't do TV. Sorry. Really? Oh. Yeah. I did TV movies. That's and question. and those, are, yeah. those, are, those are made for... But all- sometimes it could be a year to two years, right? It can be. Yeah. I mean, we, we all... I mean, we kind of know how long this took. I mean, we knew when it got announced pretty fast when they decided to do this. You know that pilot was out, like, fucking right when Iron Man well, 2... Well, they did. They did it Iron way Man. too fast, I think. I, I, I think it's heading in the right direction. I mean, I kept saying it over and over. I didn't like the first one. I didn't like the second one, but it's slightly better. Third one is slightly better. Fourth one slightly better. Yeah. By, by the time season finale comes, I might like this show a lot. Like, I had might. a conversation with might. Brock... Hmm. Um, before the podcast and we were talking about different TV shows and everything like that and Brock was telling me like yeah he wasn't into Arrow until like episode 9 which is I think pretty much like second to last episode no, no, no that's 23. 24 oh was it 24? Yeah, 24 23 episodes in the first season, season. are you yeah, kidding me that's normal yeah it's normal network TV but oh. it's the WB yeah it got picked up for a full TV. season yeah yeah, yeah I, and I, I, mean, I was sold on Arrow with like just watching the pilot, I was sold. Yeah, on Yeah, I was very sold on Arrow. Yeah, I mean, pretty. Uh, I, I was early on. It took a couple episodes for me for Arrow, but it was because they were they they had to find their footing telling two different stories at the same time. Well, this they they're not they're they don't know exactly what stories they're telling. Dude, walking through like seeing all these guys that almost look like little like red Ho- red hood gang, like walking through a train, and there's this like chick that kind of has like the Michonne cool, type of feel. It was a like, cool visual. Badass chick. Fucking has some TK, but, some, but, but, some but, but, lower powered but, character. That's that story. Like I would have watched that story even without the Shield Agent involved. Yeah, so yeah, like, that it, was interesting it, on its own. Yeah, the, I mean the story. Like, be, the, the Shield yeah. Agent still annoying me in that episode. So yeah. I could have done it without the well, Shield Agent. Is it just me, or is every like last few minutes of the show getting worse? Uh, right? they're, they're, dread, they're dreadful. Like mm-hmm. yeah, they're, are, like the last few minutes of every show are getting worse. Well, I mean, you can't compare it. Can't compare it to having Sam Jackson like in the last fucking yeah, five minutes of that of the last one. So I don't know. Well, I mean, what was the because the because we because we had the the Lola flying at the end of the first one. The end of the second one was Sam Jackson. The end of the third one was, was Graviton's hand yeah. coming out of the ball, basically showing he and survived. Then this last one was Sky using X-ray goggles to check out Agent Handsome's package. They were trying. You're kidding. They were no, trying to the sort of, of replicate the sort of humor ending at the end of Avengers in there, which is fine. I don't expect every sort of tag to be ground shattering epic so I, I expect a mix so now arrow let me go back to you Brock, real <laughs> fast no no real fast um i actually got lost in arrow about when we got further in because i felt like it had a good good opening it was pretty strong mm-hmm. and then i felt like the cheese came back in a little more and that's when i kind of started not well, digging it so much when he kept saying oh you what was it what does he say always yeah you done the city wrong you, you, you failed, failed this city. I, I thought when he, when he got to that, I was like, was kind of cheesy, well, it, it, but kind of overlooking Arrow, it. Arrow, Arrow fluctuates within the course of the show. Yeah, it's because like, it's, 20, it, 23 it's 20, episodes. Yeah, it's 23 yeah. episodes. You're, you're going a long distance dealing with you know certain characters. But Arrow will introduce characters very quickly, and Arrow will keep characters going and bring characters back. Like and a lot of people are, like, I'm hoping she will do that too. You know, I, I haven't given out episode that yet. three, and we're already. I mean, we're already two episodes in, and we have we we got Bronze Tiger, mm-hmm. 
in the second episode of season two, and we're going to get when we have Black Canary in the first episode in a small little bit part, and then That's she's fine. supposed to I mean, be increasing it in, they're te- in they're the third teasing one. It. Well, no, with, fourth. Well, with Arrow, I feel the episode. You know, they have their standalone episodes, but the episode to episode sort of story that they have is interesting. Shield has yet to, you know, we're four episodes Mm. in, five episodes in. Overall arc, Even from the very first episode of Arrow, there was this ongoing narrative, and we don't have that yet from S.H.I.E.L.D., and I think that's a mistake. But didn't they get that from the framework that they had with Smallville? No, Smallville, especially the first season, was complete Monster of the Week, just like like S.H.I.E.L.D. The first couple, like the first season was all Monster of the Week, and then it, it, it took a while for the Monster of the Week, too. Took them to shed that by the mid mid second season, Smallville was had the monster of the week, and that really did go through the end of the show. However, the ongoing narrative and the plot, especially the character relationships, got stronger and stronger because previously they were sort of like done in one episode. In the later, you know, episodes, uh, seasons two, maybe about halfway through, it's a lot stronger in, in Smallville. So I have a comment to make about to make about the Chloe's. Yeah. Um, the Chloe, what are we calling her now? Three? Sky? Yeah. Sky. Yeah. yeah. I, I, my problem with her more than anything is that they force you to like her. They make her so cute and so lovely. Dude, she's not cute. She's fucking hot. Okay? <laughs> they give her the right lines to I'm just sorry. be perfect all the time. I, I feel like it's out of character. I, feel I think she's hot. I think Chloe's three and Arrow. And not to praise Arrow. This is just between is these two Chloe characters. Two? Chloe too. Yeah, Chloe. in, she's, in she's Arrow. First, yeah. I feel like she oh. is a lot better as a character because she's cute because of the things she does, as she, opposed well, to be like cute because you line her up to be but, like that way. But she also she also does different things. Like in the episode, she, I'm not getting you coffee. I'm not doing that. I, you I know, like she's that. Irritated, and at the end of the show, and at the, at the end of the episode, but it's it's character driven. It's character driven. Yeah. It's not it's not forced and on the you. Chloe's like, three. I feel yeah. like it's all a little forced. Isn't Look. Whedon a little forced? Let's be honest. How many fucking shows does he have? Female characters, a lot of this shit's forced. No, I, th- I think they're, they're better, better fleshed out in his previous shows. Mm. Would... Really? Did you see Dollhouse? Yes. All of it. I was um, a big fan of it. Hey, so for those of us that don't know, who's Chloe? You guys keep making this Sky. Chloe joke. Sky. Sky. No, I know, but well, what is no, Chloe? Chloe from? is from Smallville. From Originally from Smallville. The blonde the haired blonde. chick. Uh, she's like, she's Her real be, name is Chloe, though. Yeah, she's, so, supposed yeah. To be, yeah, she's supposed to be Barbara, like Babs from like... Fucking, Chloe in Smallville. Supposed to be Oracle. Chloe in Smallville. Right, and later she becomes Oracle. Yeah. Chloe in Smallville. Dollhouse? Is the cute um, no, female tech savvy, tech savvy computer it. hacker chick? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah, I heard. It's Smallville. Right. Chloe is the cute female tech savvy computer hacker chick. Right. That's against the stereotype of the male. Right. And the male we, hacker. Have we talked about it on this? And, and then in Arrow, we're supposed to talk about yeah. like how it's almost becoming cliche. That, that has no, become totally, the cliche yeah, now yeah, at this yeah, point. Totally right. Yeah. Right. Which whatever. So, well, Bryce, I'll the, give you that dollhouse a little flat, but Buffy and Angel is fucking solid. Uh, so, <laughs> and Firefly so, was amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah Firefly. I've seen Firefly, and I love Firefly. I haven't yeah. seen Buffy or Angel. I'm, I've heard that they're amazing, and I'm sure that they're I would solid. love them. But um, yeah, I, I saw Firefly and loved it, but I haven't seen the other two. But I hated Dollhouse. I really wanted to like it. Too. I know. I mean, for me, Agents of Shield. Also, I mean, the dialogue is really flat and forced, and. I mean, part like I almost like I physically got like just irritated when I know you he, love the AC line. Oh my fucking god! I wanted to punch my TV in the face. It was so bad. Like she's like listing off these AC blah blah. I'm like I fucking wanted to strangle you, bitch. Shut up. She, she calls. Whoa. She call um um Clo- Chloe three. I can't even remember. I can't even think of her real name now. It's not Sky. hard. It's Sky. Sky it's not calls Sky. Agent Coulson. AC. Yeah, like he's JC. And it's a little. No, it's not like no, she's JC. It's AC as in like a like fucking AC. He's Coulson. calling her cool. Agent Coulson. Cool. Like, it, like he's an air conditioning? Yes. 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 You don't get it. I'm sorry. Yeah, it went over you your head. It. It's okay. I, we got it. His name is Agent Dude, Coulson. Because you're hella cool. And he, she made that shit. Like, and he's uh. like, oh, really? I'm cool? Like, because he's a total tool. Yeah. I mean, that's it, what's cool about Agent Coulson. That's Agent Coulson doesn't dialogue. try. Agent Coulson doesn't try. He's just a fucking, like, well, a anyway. corporate tool. Anyway. I don't like the line yes. either, but I got what they meant no, I, by I, it. I, no, I, I got it. I just it was so forced and so bad. Anyway, I enjoyed it. Let's move on to a show with a quarter of the budget and ten times the awesome action, uh, uh, and that's uh, uh, it. Uh, and about half, according the close. to Master Higgins, and that, uh, asterisk. About half the close too. Yeah, and that's about, half the uh, yeah, costume that's where, uh, yeah, budget. That's well, that, that's budget. where they <laughs> save all the budget. Yeah, it's like <laughs> we don't need to buy him shirts. In the yeah, original no shirts for so, him. <laughs> so in the original, just jump on that woman, guys, put your chest all over his, her face. So in the original Star Trek series, um, the the joke always was that that fle- female flesh was cheaper. Than the actual costumes they used to make, so that. they made the 
female clothes as short as possible in the original Star Trek. Mm-hmm. And in Arrow, it's just it's just the opposite. It's it's male flesh is cheaper you, than, than you, the costumes. Did you see the promo where not only Arrow is topless, it's all of but them. It's all of them. Yeah, I was like, just like your favorite websites, Comics Alliance and Comics. I know, I know. They love it. They love it. <laughs> um, they love it when it's a guy. Uh, but they have uh, both the first episode. Both episodes start with Ollie shirtless doing some awesome manly thing. Of I just want to add that Omer just put his butt in like. No, no, I did the pose. Brock's face. I did the pose. The yeah. action shots. Put it in your butt. Brock is <laughs> about. Yeah, yeah, Brock, Brock is about to put Charlie his fist Morrison. through your butt. So, Arrow. You know, I am blown. You know, I mean, I realized it a bit. I realized it a bit in the in the first season, but going back and now actually watching the second season, man, they have some fantastic action in this show. Like the action shots are awesome. The fight scenes are awesome. Oh. They're so good. They're so okay. Good. I have a question because yeah. I haven't seen it. Is it really like manly shit that he's doing? Where I would watch it and I'd be like, "That's fucking cool." Yes, or is yes. It, it is. Like, mm-hmm. Yes, this fucking pretty boy. But he's gonna lick off. your. He's gonna no, lick no, your lips, no. and you're gonna be like, "Oh, he's kind of handsome." No, he's doing a lot of manly That's stuff. That's what's gonna do. Yeah. But there's a lot of shirtless stuff while he's done. Did you ever watch um, the show Ninja Warrior on, like, G4? Yeah, love Ninja Warrior. <laughs> He's basically doing all the Ninja Warrior stuff with, like, the salmon ladder and, like, all that mm. uber-physical... Just half-naked. ...things without a shirt on. I don't mind if he's half-naked. He's actually doing cool dude shit, like, yeah. manly yeah. shit. Yeah, like the salmon ladder and, like... Okay. But, that, that, but he usually stops doing that and he talks to the girl while he's, like, wiping off Well, after he jumps down, after being, like, at the top, and then <laughs> he just... We spent a lot of time talking about this dude being topless. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Felicity always walks in and makes some like, oh, I just want to put my hands on you. Oh, wait, I mean, I want to put my hands over here. Some weird sexual innuendo joke to him. And then she gets all embarrassed and runs away. And then he's like, I'm Arrow. And walks away. So. <laughs> actually, actually, the as show, cool as you were about to make this sound, show, you all of a sudden made it sound really The show, <laughs> the, show actually, <laughs> the show actually saves a lot of money because they do have a lot of short skirts in the show, too. I guess. So he's half naked, but you get a lot of long legs in this show. Why would I pay attention to long legs when Arrow is jumping around doing salmon ladders? Because <laughs> we knew you were into that type of manga. But yeah, no, Arrow. Uh, I mean, these first two episodes already. Um, I mean, I, I mean, uh, they have had obvious, you know, Wolverine fascination with uh, their take on Bronze Tiger. I mean, he basically had Wolverine's claw. So another reason Bryce that was Bronze Tiger. It. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. Spawn. Yeah. Oh, it is Spawn. <laughs> yeah. It's the same actor. I thought it was Spawn. Yeah. I thought we got some crossover coming. But I figure Angela goes to Marvel and, you know, Spawn goes over to DC. Well, Chai right. White was in there? Michael Chai White? Yes. Black right. Dynamite was in fucking. Yeah, he was Spawn's fucking yeah. Tiger. Holy shit. I got to watch that one. Yeah, yeah. he's Only because of Michael Tiger. J. White because it's fucking Black well, Dynamite. He's going to be like, he's going to be like one of the major bad guys of the season. Yeah, because yeah. Ryan and I were talking about this earlier today. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. hasn't really introduced, to, they've introduced us to Gravitron. Or Graviton, right? But we got in Arrow. We already have like Black Tiger, Black Canary. Okay, so season two, people, right? Season yeah, two. Exactly. Okay, yes. twenty-seven, twenty-seven later. There you go. No, Look, season Charlie, one can... had plenty too. Oh, really? So okay. in season one, they introduced Huntress. Mm-hmm. They introduced um, Jana Jana White. Did he bang Jana her? White? Yes, yeah. yes, he did. Actually, yeah, he did. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, all, we all got got. Uh, Thanks for that. <laughs> we got Arrow, uh, Red Red Arrow. Right. Yeah, they introduced mm. Red Arrow. Wait, who who's the second person who said Shauna White? Uh, China, China White. White. China White. She's a Green Arrow villain. Um, um, Merlin. 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 Obviously. Deathstroke. Yep. They introduced Deathstroke. Yeah, Deathstroke. Right away. Uh, yeah. Did did he did he bang shadow? did he bang Deathstroke? <laughs> no, no. Very close. Uh, shadow. They do yeah, shadow. they do like train to get a topless all the time. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Deadshot. I forgot about Deadshot. So I guess back to what I was saying, there's at least seven characters that were introduced throughout the first season. A lot of them became reoccurring characters. Almost over, all of them. Yeah. So they, they don't really do one and done really on that show. Mm-hmm. Plus, I just have to say it, Jeff Johns writes some of the episodes. God damn it. Oh, and God. They already, they already, yes. and they already announced that uh, Flash is going to be in this series. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, they yeah. Well, because they're spinning off the, yes. a Flash series, and they tease Flash in the very beginning of the second episode, or the, or the, the first, first episode second, of the yeah. second season. They're like, "Oh, went over in Central City. There's a what did they say it was? Uh, I want to say collider. Yeah, yeah. It was like a particle accelerator or something yeah. like that. Oh, that they're introducing. And so, well, here we, we got yeah. Flash Resort. And there's already. also a slight rumor, and I, I think it might have been just a rumor that that um, what's his face, uh, Ryan Reynolds is going to show up too as Hal. Oh, that's but that was though. a big rumor, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I but mean, yeah. Well, that was uh, that was Ryan's theory at first that 
the Justice League, League movie is going to be the Flash from the Flash TV show, Green Arrow from the Green Arrow show, uh, you know, Ryan Reynolds back as Green Lantern, and then we got, you know, Henry Cavill. Stop it. I know it's coming. Don't, don't say it. <laughs> Henry Cavill, Superman, and, and the new Ben Affleck, Batman. At that well, point, even, at that time, we didn't know it was Ben Affleck, though. Right. Well, even this kid that's playing Green Arrow, he's 20, or, um, I'm sorry, Flash, he's 23 now, but he'll be 26, 27 by the time the Justice League movie rolls around, so meh, that's good enough for me. Old well, enough. He's, at, he's young. At that point, you're going to have Ben Affleck, who's going to be like, I actually honestly don't know how old Ben Affleck is, but he's going to, he's at least 40 now. Which yeah, is no, he is. He's going to be old man Batman. So he'll be 47 when he's Batman. Yeah, well, that's old awesome. man Batman. He might have some nipples, too. I, I just, I don't Dude, know. he's going to be behind the computer laughing. Ha, ha, ha. While you're fighting his robots. Ha, 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 ha. It's yeah. going to be funny. I, yeah, I don't know. If he <laughs> he's going to be ROTFL. Modicon. Colon. No. Colon spread the seeds. Yeah. Arrow's been great. Mm-hmm. Yes. I love oh, I'm Arrow. kind of jealous from this description that Arrow should is read so it. much better than... Or you should watch it. Arrow is definitely so much yeah. better than Chill. I'm nah, sorry. Damn. I mean, I watch both. Arrow is cheesy. Let's get that over yeah, no, with. It, it has cheese in it. But, but the cheese is not as bad as the cheese and shield. But Sorry, it is, guys. If Arrow's effing Huntress and Deathstroke, dude, I'm on it. I'm but, on board. But it he, is, no, he definitely is. It is great cheese. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You just, you have to just love I, it. I love cheese. Yeah. I just I, yeah. I can't handle the, the, and, the eye rolling. Also, Huntress do. looks like Huntress. Black mm-hmm. Canary looks like Black Canary. Arrow sure is the updated Arrow that they were going for, but, you know, he looks like the new Arrow. Huntress? I think I talked about this when they first showed her. She uh, she's okay. She's a little bit off. Me and Marshall, uh, when I guess you're at the store, we're having this conversation about what about you, Marshall? Well, we were saying like oh, she she clearly is Canadian. She, turns out she's actually Australian, but close enough. But <laughs> like, yeah, it's that forehead. It's like that six head that she's got is like it, it throws me off every Sorry, time. Ryan, that's we, not where I was looking. Can we spend a little time talking about a real good show on AMC? Oh yes. Instead of these weak ass bammer shows, we could talk about Walking Dead. Yes. Yes. So just just so everyone, so everyone is aware, the Marvel and DC shows aren't as good as the Image show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Image yeah. show is yeah. incredible. No, that's like read very fast. Mm-hmm. Well, Walking Dead started, so they're two episodes in mm-hmm. the season. Mm-hmm. They uh, fucking killed Phineas and turned him into a zombie. The season four. Hey, do you want to do a spoiler tag? Fine, spoiler, spoiler. spoiler. What? what? It's a spoiler <laughs> that Phineas was on the show. It no. might be for Bryce. Yeah, I mean, well, okay, it was. But do I you don't even care. know who I'm Phineas is? No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, it matters. <laughs> okay, spoiler alert. A non-major character died in Walking Dead. Phineas G. is very it major. Every because episode. what's Ferb going to do by himself now? <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. wh- what? Wh- Phineas is going to run around as a zombie. Ferb is going by himself. And he barely talks. He's like Silent Bob. What is he going to do without the J? Maybe they could play video games like in Shaun of the Dead. So, mm. apparently Phineas was on Walking Dead, which I did not know. Uh, was, wasn't however, he Patrick? Yeah, he was Patrick. He was Patrick. Kid. Well, however... Two episodes of one of the season of Walking Dead. Now, I am so far back on the comic book, so I have no idea. Is this p- actually something, this plague thing? The plague, no. Not that I've okay. ever read. But they did change the, uh, the uh, old white man medic into a young black man, though. No, he's Indian. He's Indian in the books? He's not white? No, no, in the TV show. Wasn't he Indian? No, he's, he's uh, African American. Oh, okay. He is, uh, he is the guy from The Wire, one of my favorite TV oh, shows. Oh, shit, okay. The guy who plays chess. All right. Well, maybe his fro has grown out a little bit too long. Are you talking about the, the in the show the black guy with, with the alcohol problem? Yes. Oh, okay. So you agree he's not Indian? Well, there in the second episode there is a there's an Indian oh. guy who's a medic as well. Oh, oh. So like, we're maybe not talking the, about the same guy. Oh. The one you're talking about was a combat medic. Yes. So mm-hmm. isn't yeah. he in the books an older white guy? I don't remember. <laughs> it's well, been a long time since I read those. <laughs> the only medic I remember was when they were in the comics was the one that like helped Rick and stuff after they chopped off his hand in the comic books. Spoilers for the Spoiler. show. Ah, yes. my ears. But that's okay because that hasn't happened in the show and they've already finished where that would have happened. Not doesn't necessarily. Mean, not necessarily. It's oh, come on. They can do whatever they want they, going well, forward. Well, they, they, could, the government... they could cut off a foot. Well, that, <laughs> but they already took Herschel's leg. Yeah, I know. Well, there was talk that... um uh. Uh, what's his face? Robert Kirkman said, "Cutting off Rick's hand." I mean, this is so long ago in yeah. the comic books, and it's been on the covers and everything like that, mm-hmm. so it's not really a big spoiler. That wouldn't um, be a surprise anymore. No, 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 so no. T- that, his nose and that it was a really terrible idea because it made it really hard to have the character do things. Yeah. Uh, because so, and the show would be almost impossible. Uh, yeah. How would he be a farmer? How would he take care of the pigs and cut them? Cut them. Oh, that. <laughs> 
Okay, so uh, uh, myself uh, and my girlfriend as well are, are, are humans can all burn, right? But animals are awesome. That was the most useless scene I've seen in anything ever. Besides being just long and torture porny, that, that's... it did nothing. They they so so they have these they they have the zombies that are trying to break through the fence. So they go through. They get these pigs. They like cut the pigs' legs so the zombies can eat these pigs and so they don't get away. And they so, kill two birds with one stone. They got them away from the fence for what thirty seconds. Yeah, so they they're can so they can put back. the no, they can put those two poles on there, those two two by fours. Actually, maybe they're not even two by fours, so that they can hold the fences that's in place. No. That would have done with one but, pig. Yeah, uh, that's, like to me, the big problem with that scene is it makes more logical sense to let the pig run so the zombies. Here, does anyone ever play video games? Molotov cocktail, horde of zombies, throw. Done. Well, the bad idea. Bad idea. Yeah. Why? Because you have a forest all the way around. Nail you. bomb. <laughs> Done. Who cares if the forest? They'll burn all the zombies. Then it's not going to get into the. But I, then it could draw humans. Ah, fuck them. They'll die too. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is, like, what? you have this zombie. Ryan, not not every one of us lives in a safe place up in the mountains. Okay, <laughs> some of us live down here. But in even the that whole city. scene. So they're at the fence. Just keep poking them in the brain but and just no, killing the, them and the, killing no, them. The problem and is, is they fall and they. They climb up and they fall, so it's a rolling effect. Can we, can we talk about the interesting things, like Molotov. who's feel, f- feeding them rats and who's killing the people in jail? I rather want to know well, no one's what's killing, going on. Well, the kid got infected. No one's killing people in yes. jail. Did you not yes. watch, you not the, watch end the end of yeah. last night? The two burned corpses? Oh, yeah. oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought you meant like some... <laughs> Nobody's going to kill no, 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 that's yes, happening. that's fine. <laughs> no, no. No, or or, or the, the rats are getting fed to the zombies. I thought yeah. there's some interesting. Shit well, those going people on. were dead anyway, so whatever. Who says that? Because no, they were no, all infected. They, no, but they. But How do you they know? They know. suspected they yeah. were. Yes, so, yeah, they were both coughing. Yes, well, of they course. were both locked up, and somebody went there. Killed them, dragged yeah. them out, and burned their bodies. Yeah. You no, know, it looked like they changed already, though, because there's a lot of blood everywhere. Yeah, of there. course. I'm pretty sure they killed them and drugged them out. Of course, yeah. someone was going to be like, "Fuck this! I'm not waiting." Killed them, and burned yes. their bodies. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't know who, but yeah, I mean, yeah. that seems reasonable. Well, I'm calling the medic. Well, my only thing about burning the bodies is flat out. I'm not sure that kills zombies. It, 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 in the it, show. It, it, it overheats the brain and it turns to mush. Yeah, if the, I would assume if the well, brain gets destroyed. Trying to like contain the virus yeah. too, right? Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I, but to your to your point about the pigs. Yeah. Right. It it wasn't necessarily about about them running away or them drawing attention. It was if you remember from the first episode, Rick tells Carl not to name them. No, mm-hmm. I know, I know. And the thing is 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 when you when you when you farm animals and then you kill them and you eat them they're serving a purpose right but when he goes out there and he he kills them to draw the zombies away so that they can you know put the fence back up that's more of a waste but at the same time it's he doesn't know if they're the ones that are infecting them with if it's going through the pigs or if it's going through birds so he doesn't know what's going on so it's more of a, a drain on his emotional psyche because he's been raising these things Right. No, I mean, I mean, the whole I, point with the with the pigs was, well, we have to kill them anyway. They're because we we the the mom pig got infected and died, and it could be coming from them. But it just seemed like a pointless scene because it saved them nothing. They did nothing. They put up that fence. Oh yeah, that's gonna last five seconds. So, Molotov. It's Molotov. Yeah. They had no all the gasoline. Yeah, Molotov. No Molotov. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. Molotov. You can't control a fire. You, you can yeah, control. You can't, uh, you're outvoted here, fire. Ryan. If you were running, zombies. if you were running yeah. our jail here, sorry, Ryan, you just lost your leadership. You guys can die with all even the rest on, of the infected zombies. Even, I'm even, Molotov in my way to, to even safety. On, even on talking to the, <laughs> the, one of the executive producers, like, yeah, you can't do that. What do you mean you can't do that? They're, okay, they're like in a grass field. Okay, maybe a very slight chance that something would happen. You're gonna kill like 50 you, you zombies. You realize that there's there's grass in gasoline the, in the yard, right? <sighs> they had they had all the extra like, gasoline. And then the governor's all, oh wait a minute, where's that smoke coming from? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, not even the governor. It could draw attention um, from other governor people. Governor knows where that they are. Wouldn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> he knows where they are. He did attack multiple times. Wait, so I haven't. Oh yeah, huh? He does not. <laughs> so I haven't been watching this season yeah. yet. Um, he has access to nail bombs or Molotovs. <laughs> no, no, that's a Ryan no, thing. <laughs> Stop listening to Ryan. It's his video game. Like they had. Dead, Ryan's been hanging around with the geek box See, too much. Ryan doesn't understand that forest fires 
actually spread because all the fires he deals with in games extinguish after X amount <laughs> of seconds. Didn't Smokey pass. teach you anything? <laughs> they had, they are so far away from any forest. I don't know where this forest is coming from. They have all this gasoline because Rick was like, oh, I'm just going to randomly burn things. They like, need the gasoline. You put a little bit, of, you need it for Molotov cocktails. You no, you bit need it for your car so you, you keep it. driving around. There you go. My main problem with the idea of lighting a zombie on fire is the zombie's not going to immediately fall down and burn. Right, yeah. it burns all the other zombies. No, they're going to come towards you burning. And you can't even, like, attack them yeah. anymore. I like how, uh, I, I think it was Josh or Gabriel, someone from the forum, they're talking about how Walking Dead is now trying to be like Game of Thrones because they create this, like, this protection. It's like medieval times where the fence is like the moat and then you have rats around and you have to worry about like the plague because you know, uh, the rats are... I almost think, I like it, that one. That I think it's also uh, turning a little bit into the wire because you know how the wire, like each season concentrated on a different theme? Yeah. I feel like this season might be about the kids. No, like, it is. Yeah, they, they and said, I feel like it's, that's not a problem though, because the no, wire is I, I, considered one of the best. Exactly. No, I'm all, ever, I'm all right? for it. I'm all for it. I think this is kind of a cool direction they're going. Mm. No, I mean definitely the 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 third season dealt with the, kind of the end of that story in the comic books, where mm-hmm. this season is dealing with more of the beginning of the prison story. Mm. So they kind of flipped it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but. Uh, this season of Walking Dead is so in new territory, like. Previous seasons, you sort of talked about all these sort of key scenes in the comic book that were definitely coming up with the governor, with getting into the prison. with, And they still have a few key scenes that I hope they get to while they're still at the prison. But that being said, moving in all these new people and all that, that's all new shit. This is like they're they're outside of comic continuity at this point so much that you really don't know where this season's and I gonna like go that. at I all. I kind of like that. And that's, yeah, how you, that's how you get the talent. That's how you get those yeah. those writers. The writers don't want to come in and just fucking regurgitate something that's already been well, done on the storyboard. Really, Kirkman said it was really funny. He goes, yeah, these writers come and tell me, oh, you wrote this? If you do it this way, it'd be so much better. You're like, uh, actually, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like he, he felt bad about it. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're, they're, they're still keeping the main kind of themes that are going. Like we, the first one. Well, we started Kirkman out, is still were... show running, so I mean, that's why I'm right. okay with all of this. Well, yeah. I mean, the first season they they kept the feel of them on the road in the first season, but they the Kirkman said in some interviews that he he wanted to do the CDC, but never did it, so they did it in the first season, and then they went to the farm. Mm. Which is how kind of it happens in the comics, and then after the farm, it's the prison. So they're kind of still going, kind of with the locations mm. in but general. My point is, when you dealt with the resolution with the governor and stuff, that's not resolved. I know it's not He's resolved, still alive. but the point where they got to in the comic books with the resolution mm. of the governor has already sort of come and changed directions at this point, mm-hmm. and. Instead of basically having, to, because at that resolution point, obviously they flee the jail, they're separated. I mean, there's a lot of shit that goes on there. Um, and I mean, that was hugely epic in the show, but in a lot of ways, where they're at right now is completely uncharted territory. Yes, and it it leads to the question of, well, how long will they keep it in the jail? They may very much like that. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Very much like the way they have departed. A lot yeah. from the novels, where they have some things take place, but yeah. um, you don't know who's going kill, to get killed off. I was so pissed in the Red Wedding. I was like, come on, man. You, <laughs> why is she even here? She was supposed to be behind with the baby. No spoilers. Spoilers. You what do you mean? Seen that? I have. Yeah. Of course I've seen we all saw it. Now in Game of Thrones, Ferb gets killed. No. Spoilers. No yeah. season. No spoilers. <laughs> I didn't say happens. anything. All I said was <laughs> she should spoilers. not have died. Okay. Okay. Who well, that's she? fine. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. All right. Uh, wife. Well, we will we will check in occasionally with uh, some of these shows that they go for. So we have the show and the the cartoon conspiracy now. The show conspiracy. Yeah. The cartoon yeah. conspiracy. The, the clicks conspiracy. Didn't forget. Didn't forget about you guys. I mean, I think we're done except for Thor. Is there anything else out this year? Is that Are it? Are we clowning Hobbit? The uh, Doctor Who fiftieth yes. anniversary. Yeah, this is different, but yeah. What? It, yeah. what? How? He's no. Th- he, 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 he puts that more on the geek box side. Exactly. Yeah. I don't care where he puts it. I'm dragging <laughs> it back here. I'm I'm all up for a Doctor Who episode of of the comic conspiracy yes. going forward, yes. but. That what? is not our. Please do it when I'm sick. Normal. It's yes, it is. Talk. So that will be the Monday after, so November 23rd. So no, Monday, November 25th. Don't be here, Brock. 
it's also how he's going to talk about the game tomorrow instead of here, where I did a lot better with my team than It's Ryan so did. weird hearing him talk about sports, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm it like, is. I I'm took like, pictures. The other day, he had UFC on his computer. I took a picture of it. Just I'm like, proof. did Leanne hijack his account? <laughs> Start talking about sports? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Red Sox, man. I love them. I was actually asking Bryce the other day about which um, uh, English Premier League soccer team I should root for. So, yeah, and yeah. Form- I'm sorry, sorry, football team I should root for. So. Yes, now I know you're talking about. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, and I give you some great advice. Some people gave you some not such good advice, but um, we can let the forum people maybe uh, maybe dish it out. Are you going to watch any games? Or? Oh, sure, if I can. Yeah, yeah. Did you tell him which football teams fans drink the least? Because that's probably the team. <laughs> yeah, that's that probably needs. where Ryan should be. Yeah, nice. that's probably where he wants no, to be. Anything, nice. anything related to England, he's he's Fox anyways. Yeah, yeah it's lot. all over. Because so. America, we are pussies when it comes to the rest of the world. <laughs> Sorry, that's why we have great technology that we stole from the rest of the world that we hide behind. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, next week we'll be back talking more about comic books and crap. There you go. Oh, um, sure giveaway. Sure giveaway. Is Thor. Sure giveaway. November eighth. November 8th? Oh, I can't okay. wait. So we will talk giveaway. about it on November... Uh, we'll we'll cool. record on November 11th. Give away a shirt. Oh, what are we doing for the... Uh, do we know what our giveaway for NinjaBot is? Thor. No. It's I'm terrible. I've been, I've been so busy. ignoring you. We have them. Trust me. We're going to get it to them. We have uh, a machete shirt. Not the one Toby was wearing on his face. That yeah, we'll be giving is. away. It's the one that was. No, it's not the same one. It's not the same one. No, that's it's his own. the same shirt. But we've got to do it now. It's going with the episode. Unless you want to request that shirt. <laughs> I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll have both I'll of these. sign it too if you want my shirt but both it's of got these. some germs on it at this point both of these. I burped a couple times in my shirt both of these we'll be giving away in the podcast next week as well as Toby's uh, Comic Conspiracy uh, book club uh, pick of the month oh, yeah, yeah. Jim, uh, Henson's. Jim Henson's The Tale of Sand yes yes so we'll discuss so that in, get her, like, smoke a little psychedelic before you read it, read it. we'll, we'll make for better this. readings we will discuss that next week on the podcast. So the little teaser for next week. Yeah, I have All the right. for those who are interested. Uh, what Toby mentioned, the Jim Henson shorts. I've linked them on the blog, so look for that. How about some directions to some good drugs? That they can talk to their you know talk to the about. high school kids yeah. to, to the local <laughs> kids at Fremont no, no, High School through their local venues. Yeah, through their local venues. <laughs> thank you for listening to the podcast this week. Uh, we appreciate it, and Bryce. Thank you for coming back. Um, we'll see you. Happy in, birthday, Bryce! Happy probably. birthday, Bryce! Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. Birthday, Bryce! Birthday, Bryce! Apparently, it's your birthday. Yesterday, sweet. Catch you back here in a few weeks, probably. Yeah. Well, next time you can. Two next weeks. time you come on. Maybe next week. I would Excellent. love it. Excellent. We'll see. Yeah, we'll figure something out. Um, www.geekbox.net and comicsconspiracy.biz is where you can find these episodes and also all the Tumblr episodes. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a Tumblr up there. Uh, mm-hmm. jo- Ryan's just, joining the cool kids. He's, just, so he's, he's reading Hawkeye. No, he's he's looking at Japanese half naked peoples. I think it's what? I think it's comics. That's what you told me. That's what's on Tumblr. Japanese half naked people? Yeah. No, just pictures are I'm, pictures, really easy, yeah, like I'm sure there are some pictures of naked half naked Japanese people on Tumblr. Yes. There are pictures I'm, of I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of Ollie too. There are pictures of that. Oh yeah, I'm sure there's there are pictures of everything on Tumblr. Everyone loves Tumblr. Uh, I guess that's comicsconspiracy.tumblr.com. I think that's right. Uh, I don't I've only used it once or twice. We'll see if I ever use it again. Uh, forums at geekbox.net and go talk to us on there, as well as the Comic Conspiracy, or actually the Geekbox, I'm sorry, Facebook group. You can go find us on there, um, chat up, as well as the page. And the Comic Conspiracy website uh, on Facebook, and go find us there too. And we all have Facebook pages and stuff. Go track us down. You know our names. Uh, we're all on Twitter. Ryan Higgins, Ryan, Brock Sager, Comics, and Dekine is Omar Larson. Bryce is Bryce Larson. Toby XI is Toby. Charlie is Insanity and Chaos. A uh, bunch of us have other random crap we do. Brock's blog, spiritofbrock.com. Uh, comicsandtokine.com is Omar's blog. The Infinite Long Box podcast at infinitelongbox.com. The is Charlie's, Infinite Long Box. Which, yep. by the time you hear this episode, hopefully Charlie's 100th episode of the Infinite Long Box podcast has gone up. With 100 spectacular. Special guest, which we won't spoil here. So, Oh, I'll spoil it. We got a nice long interview with Jim Zub on our 100th episode. It's your nice. favorite. Woohoo! Yes. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Of Skull Kicker's That's awesome. fame. That's awesome. Good, de- good job, man. Good yeah, job. they got a guest before we did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, well, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, sorry, a professional guest. As we stated, we record live. Um, 
if you are a professional and you'd like to have an interview on the Comic Conspiracy Podcast, I will gladly Skype an interview uh, with someone. That'd be a fun time. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe I'll see if I can try, start doing some of those. Just plug well, you them should at the try end it. You never tried it. I could have got you, Dustin, but you never tried I it. I told you, man. I we could do Van Cybertown versus uh, sure Comics works, Conspiracy. Oh, jeez. All right. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, the Comic Conspiracy, geekbox.net. You can send us some emails there. Uh, digital storefront, digital.comicsconspiracy.biz. Go buy some crap on there. Um, no. No yeah. one probably wants yeah, to talk to us. It's too weird for all of them. Comic retailer. <laughs> <Listen. now. laughs> well, it's still digital.comicsconspiracy.biz pulls up the site. Or comicsconspiracy.comicretailer.com is the direct link if you want that. That's their comicology uh, re- uh, retailer or digital storefront. So go buy some comics on there. We get a small cut every time you do. It's good times. You buy legal digital comics instead of all you pirates that download from um, Pirate Bay. You know they will make a about. comeback next week to give out the shirt. Keep the internet free. Is that is that Bit space torrent. machete? What is that space machete? No. Is he going to space next? Spoiler, sure. Spoiler alert. I don't know, Omar. Am I? Yes. Going to space? Yes, you are. All right. Yeah. Then I right. will. We will. I'll go you. fight fucking Galactus. Then I guess we will catch you next time. <laughs> and Thanos too. No, he's gonna just go from and satellite. He's gonna go from satellite to satellite. Or he's. Then I guess we will catch you next time. On. We'll probably meet up with Space Punisher. And, and give you a free shirt while and, I'm at it. And, then, and uh, then I guess we'll catch you next time in space. <laughs> <laughs>